all right guys so today we'll be discussing the introduction and development to fortran and computer system so i would like us to consider the development of computer system so we know that long before now um, the computing system comprised of inputs outputs central processing units and memory system in which um, one computer system can be used by several number of people so along the line there came into play personal computers that's pc so the personal computer was used in a system where a number of persons can have their individual computers manage their individual computers and then along the line the cloud computing came into play where one person just like me can manage several computers at a time all right so now for the purpose of better comprehension we'll dive into the basic components of a computing system starting with the core model of a computer system there are basically five major components which are the input units the primary memory the secondary memory the central processing units and the output unit so let's start with the input units just like the name implies the input units is just used to send information into this into the computer system it actually delivers all the information the computer needs any input unit functions for the purpose of sending information to the computer we have um, devices as the scanner the joystick the magnetic tape units the digital cameras the even your keyboard your mouse they are all input devices right so they can be used to actually process data into the computer right so the next being the primary memory the primary memory contains the program being executed and the data needed by the program the program being executed and the data needed by the program so the secondary memory is just like a supplement of the primary memory now note the difference between the primary and the secondary memory the secondary memory actually um, holds program and data files that that are both for the processed and unprocessed information another thing being that they are usually slower than the primary memory in as much as they have a larger storage capacity than the primary memory so this is the major difference they are slower but have a larger um, storage capacity than the primary memory the next being the central processing unit the central processing unit is just like the heart of the digital computer system it contains the arithmetic and logic units alu it also contains the um, control units that's cu so the control unit or cu fetches instructions decodes them and then directs all units of the computer system to perform a specified function and then lastly the output unit so what the output unit does is to transform the processed information into something visible or readable so examples of the output units we have the printer we have the plotters even your monitor is an output unit so the next thing we'll be discussing is the computer software knowing fully well that um, our previous discussion has been based on the hardware components of the computer system so we are going to look at the software components as well so the 
computer software is basically seen in two categories that is the system software and the application software so in this context you are going to look at programs so what is a program a program is simply a series of instructions given to the computer which when logically followed solves a problem i take it again a program is a series of instructions given to a computer which when logically followed solves a problem we can also look at a program to be um, a sequence of instruction that is given to a computer to guide in processing information so some of the examples of the system software or the system programs include the operating systems that's the os the translators and the editors the operating system is um, involved in memory management process management device management and information management of the computer system it's actually takes control over the operations of the computer to the extent that it allows a number of programs to be run on the computer without human intervention a translator on the other hand is a program that converts a statement written in one programming language to a statement in another programming language. Usually it converts a statement from a higher level language to a lower level language so that it can be easily processed by the computer. And um, there are three types of um, translators which can be identified as assembler, compilers, and interpreters. So there are the three translators we are going to discuss, the assemblers, the compilers, and the interpreters. An assembler actually translates an assembly language into a machine code. The compiler translates a high-level language into a machine oriented language not necessarily a machine language but can be and then lastly the interpreter is used to translate and execute each source statement in logical sequence usually it's been used for debugging that is identifying and removing errors. And then finally, an editor is a system program that enables the user to create and modify program text. Usually the editor allows you to create programs. You can write program codes using a text editor. All right, guys, that will be all for this class. In our next class, we'll be discussing computer programming languages as well as some key terminologies. Please, if you enjoyed this video, if this video was helpful, try to support us by liking and subscribing to our channel. Also, share our videos for more subscribers. You can leave your comments with us using the comment section below. Thank you.